When I came out in 2015, it was for the simple reason that I was finally ready. I had been wrestling with my sexuality for years. And if I had not deployed to Afghanistan, I might never have found the courage to come out. So I knew when I did come home safely in 2014 that it was just going to be a matter of time. Inconveniently, that time came in the middle of my reelection campaign. It came while Mike Pence was governor of Indiana. And since there had never been an out elected executive in our state, no one was sure what the effect would be on my future. Would people in our socially conservative community embrace me and continue to judge me based on the job that I did for them? Or would they turn on me, unable to look past the fact that who I was was something they had been brought up to reject? There was only one way to find out for sure. So I wrote an op-ed for the newspaper, waited to see what would happen. And to make a very long story short, what happened was that re-election night where we got 80% of the vote. When I was younger, I would have done anything to not be gay. If you had offered me a pill to make me straight, I would have swallowed it before you had time to give me a sip of water. It was a hard thing to think about now. It's hard to face the truth that there were times in my life when if you had shown me exactly what it was inside me that made me gay, I would have cut it out with a knife. And the reason it's so awful to think about isn't just the knowledge that so many young people struggling to come to terms with their sexuality or their gender identity do just that. They harm themselves, figuratively or literally. But the real reason that it's so hard to think about is if I had had the chance to do that, I would never have found my way to Chaston. Thank God there was no pill. Thank God there was no knife. People talk about things like marriage equality as a moral issue. And it is certainly a moral issue as far as I'm concerned. It's a moral issue because being married to Chaston has made me a better human being. Because it has made me more compassionate, more understanding, more self-aware, and more decent. My marriage to Chaston has made me a better man. And yes, Mr. Vice President, it has moved me closer to God. I can tell you that if me being gay was a choice, it was a choice that was made far, far above my pay grade. And that's the thing I wish the Mike Pence's of the world would understand. That if you've got a problem with who I am, your problem is not with me. Your quarrel, sir, is with my creator. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.